I could do this all day. A few moments later. I could do this all day. I could do this all day. I could do this all day. <laughs> you are dead wrong. <laughs> no! I'm thankful. Because now, I know what I must do. This movie, it, 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 Say it, it's by far and away the most disappointing movie Marvel has ever released, bar none. We were expecting Disney World, but instead we're given a simple amusement park. Still fun, but it ain't Disney World. A kind soul by the name of Cat P had an excellent way of putting it. The multiverse of somewhat crazy. I want you to take a good look at this word here, madness, meaning the state of being mad, insanity, senseless folly, frenzy, rage. Don't look at me like that. When I think of madness, I think of this. <laughs> but instead, all times to have a backless dress. <laughs> we were served that. Still pretty crazy, but it's not madness. I can fix this movie with three simple words change the title if this were called dr strange and the scarlet witch i could let this movie alone i could wash my hands of it but no you named it multiverse of madness you have to wow me you have to come correct this is phase four and you gave me a phase two outing I don't know exactly what went on behind the scenes during the making of this movie. I heard there was a change of directors. I heard there were delays. I'm not sure who or what to pin it on, but the mission statement should have been leave the audience mesmerized. Let's give them something they've never seen before because we have the full authority and free range and creativity to do so with this movie, more so than any Marvel release in the near future or the foreseeable future because we're talking about the multiverse. Yet again, let me stress that multiverse. You can go anywhere. You can do anything and not have repercussions. Think of it as a white expanse, undefined, boundless, a metaphorical golden ticket to do whatever the fuck you want and not be tied to consequence. I will no longer be bound to you or your consequences. But instead, Sam Raimi or Kevin Feige, whoever you want to blame, decided to play it safe and use a simple canvas where the only thing that can be drawn on is it and nothing else. That's what this movie is. I am tremendously disappointed. I get angrier by the minute. I am frothing with rage that this movie didn't do what I thought it would do. And I get even angrier when I think of the possibilities that we missed out on. Got to go. Guys, imagine that if that were in the movie. Oh my God, if you just have Chris Evans appear, he doesn't even have to work out. He doesn't have to prep for the movie. He just be like, Chris Evans, just show up. Just, we, we need to animate you. We need to CGI you with this fire. It would surprise the fuck out of audiences. They wouldn't see it coming. They would think, oh, oh my God, Chris Evans, he's Captain America again. No, I'm Human Torch. I'm Human Torch. Oh my God, the audience would have lost it audience will and we didn't get that nobody in the executives room thought of that nobody thought why 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 oh my god we can't get that you should have brought everyone in here and said i don't care if you don't want to prepare for the movie or you're busy you need to be in this movie this is a statement movie robert downey jr you will show up in some way shape or form if necessary if not him hugh jackman if not him deadpool if not him dr doom they could have gone to the cartoon version of Marvel they could have gone into here like they imagine if they were in the cartoon and they were to, we didn't have any of that in here you oh my god it makes me so angry it makes me so mad it honestly does think about the door scene 
from Monsters, Inc., if you've ever seen that, when they're being chased by Randall through different doors and they go in different parts of the world through out of people's closets. It should have been exactly like that for 60% of the movie, at least. They should have gone bonkers. They should have been on LSD and cocaine at the same time with this movie, but they didn't do it. So instead, we have to now wait however many years, what, eight years, 10 years, for Secret Wars, where there's gonna be a plan, an objective, a predestined route, a route, I can't even talk, where we'll have to follow that. You can't, you, oh my God, why? And why, was Kane, why wasn't Kane the Conqueror mentioned in this movie? Where was he at? Where was Tom Cruise as Iron Man in this movie? Where was anybody? We went to three universes and it was all on Earth. I'm tired of Earth. I don't like living here in real life. I don't want to be here any longer. Can we go somewhere else in the cosmos? Or do we always have to wait on a Guardians of the Galaxy movie to go off world or Thor? And they put both of them in the same movie. The two, no, no, we need a new character. Introduce a new character somewhere else on some different planet now. Please do it. I'm tired of Earth. I've had enough. Get me the hell out. Take me on a trip. I'd like to go someday. Enter a new dimension. Yeah, a different version of Earth where red means go and green means stop. Trash. I mean, not trash. Lukewarm. Mediocre. I don't like this movie. I, I, oh. I can't believe she shit in their bed. I'll see you on the next one. All times to have a backless dress. Shut the fuck up, you nasty bitch.